Hi guys and welcome to the SN Studio. Before we go into the painting tutorial, I just want to talk about our newest recruit and SN member, Mr. Benji. Stand Fast Studios on Instagram. You've probably already followed him if you're into painting because he is an absolute legend when it comes to painting. Far too kind. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we just want to say really quickly that we will be having painting tutorials uh, every month uh, by Mr. Benji, obviously. We already have a couple, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so, we've got a basing video that's already up on SM Plus. Yep. And uh, Black Armor, yeah, Black Armor is the, the other one I did. Yeah, um, we're probably going to redo that actually because there's going to be like a whole series of uh Ashen Lancers step by step. So, really looking forward to getting them out to you guys. Yeah. So, talking about Ashen Lancers, Benji is the official painter uh, for the Ashen Lancers. He's also painted um Shaggy's Ultramarines, uh, which a lot of people are a fan of. Um, it's very difficult to get the specific colors he paints them because it's top secret <laughs> uh, in the Stanford Studios uh, studio. Uh, but we probably will see a short video about that as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll go as close as I can. So send your hate mail to Shaggy. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like under lock and key. Um, but yeah, you had to twist my arm about the Ashton Lancers and that's coming out. So never say never, right? Never say never. <laughs> exactly. So um, like Benji just said, we do already have a painting tutorial on SN+. Plus. Uh, all the information in the description below um, to actually get access to those videos. And we will be obviously every month adding to that as we go along. Again, we have uh, the black tutorial, black armor tutorial already on YouTube. You can watch uh, that specific video after this one. Watch this one first. <laughs> and today's video is all about how to paint leather. Uh, basically, uh, do you want to go white Ashen Lancers goes leather and all that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So with the Ashen Lancers, it was quite like a medieval kind of vibe I had to them. Um, and when I look back at uh, the kind of armor they wear, leather was, uh, you know, used uh, quite a lot. So what I wanted to do is just have a look at like worn leather and how I uh, yeah make that happen on a model. So yeah, hopefully the uh, the video helps. It should, right? That's the exactly. Plan. That's the, that, that's <laughs> the point of the video. Anyway, yeah, I have I still haven't watched the video, so I'm very excited to watch sure. with you guys at home. And yeah, make sure you check out Stanford Studios on Instagram and, and give Benji a follow. With that said, let's check out the video coming up next. Hi all, thank you for taking the time to check out another video. Today we're going to look at painting leather. So now on screen you'll see the various colours that I use to try and achieve a worn leather look. Don't stress about trying to remember all of these, I'll be putting down a prompt at each stage that are different colours used. So once the model has been primed, the first colour we're going to use is a mix of Vallejo Black and Citadel Rhinoxide. This has been thinned down with water and I'll be applying a couple of thin coats. Applying a couple of thin coats takes a little bit longer, but applying one thick coat, you're more likely to lose detail and leave some brush marks. So, so we're using this dark colour, essentially this is going to be the shadows, and we're going to be applying lighter colours on top of this to give the leather some real depth. So the inspiration I got from this leather look is from old leather books or old leather belts. So if you think about the wear and tear of leather, it's normally where there's a lot of movement. The dark leather either cracks or fades and reveals this lighter leather colour underneath and today we're going to try and replicate that. For the second stage, I'm going to be hitting the leather areas with Rhinoxide. The goal of this stage is to start giving the leather some depth and creating a really strong base coat. So when I'm applying Rhinoxide to the most raised areas, I make sure that the previous coat, the darker coat of brown, is still showing through. The areas where I try and leave the darker colour showing through are in between the belts or the fold in the tabard or where the tabard meets the belts for example. I then apply a highlight of Morn Pine Brown to all the edges and all the raised areas of the leather. This is to give each individual leather piece some real definition. So I thin down the paint with water. If the paint is too thick, I find that the brush actually drags and gives me less control. And if it's too thin, the color's just not strong enough and I might have to apply another coat. Thank you. 
For the second highlight, I'm using Scrag Brown. Not only is this a highlight, it's actually the start of the weathering stage as well. I'm actually stippling my brush, not drawing straight lines with this highlight. I don't have to be too neat and keep all the lines straight, so I'm adding scratches and dots of Scrag Brown to the more raised areas of the leather. I'm also thinking about the areas of contact, so for example, the belts overlapping each other, the big fold in the tabard, the bottom of the tabard, and where the tabard's tucked into the belt. As a rule of thumb, the more movement and the more contact the leather has, the lighter it gets. I'm not covering all the raised areas with Scrag Brown, I'm leaving behind the previous highlight colour as well. This is to achieve further depth and definition. So I hope it's obvious at this stage of the video, the areas which I want to look more worn, the areas with more wear and tear, I'm adding more scratches and dots. And don't worry about little mistakes you make here and there, this will all be corrected later on when we reapply the base coat colour. I'm using XV88 as the final highlight colour, and once again it's also used as the final step of the weathering. I'm paying particular attention to the most raised areas of leather, and like the previous layer, really pay attention to where the leather is going to be the most worn, the most damaged. Essentially I'm going back over where the skag brown was, but I'm ensuring that the skag brown is still showing through. And as you can see I'm adding more lines and more scratches to the leather with this colour particularly. Nobody's perfect, I frequently make mistakes. What I'm doing is I'm using the base colour, Rhinox Hide, and I'm going back over the leather areas to tidy up any lines, if lines are too thick, if areas are too light and I need to bring them back down and make them darker. That's the goal of this stage. The final stage is going in and really strengthening the dark areas. I'm using a wash made up of 50-50 Norm Oil and Agrax Earthshade, and I'm really concentrating, again, where the tabard's tucked into the belt, uh, where the belts overlap, where the fold in the tabard is. And yeah, there we go. That's how I paint leather. I hope you find it useful. As always, a huge, huge thank you. For any suggestions on future content, please just comment below. We love to see it. Peace.